Are you ready for the Christmas at the last year day's meals? Or are you not? Today we see how we should behave during the holidays with some advices to enjoy the food but limit the damages and don't take it too much weight. Welcome back to the channel. I'm always Pasquale, your nutrition and lifestyle coach. As you can see today, I welcome you again with the same hairstyle that Paul McCartney had when he played with the Beatles in the 60s. Anyway, we're almost there, at Christmas. Then will come the new year, and the binges in this period are the norm most of the days. And so are our fears of gaining weight that we think will never go away. And these fears increase with the approaching on these festive eating days. Are they real worries or just imagination? And if they're real, is there any way to limit the damages? I think we do have a way. In fact, I think that the promise does not exist at all. And if you follow me in the video, you will be understand why. In this video, I will give you six simple tips to follow to avoid gaining weight during the holidays, but at the same time, to fully enjoy the day spent with the families to celebrate. Before to start, I remind you that I would be very pleased if you subscribe to the channel by clicking the button subscribe and also on the bell to be able to receive notification on new videos that I will publish in the future. And as I said before, I know that many of you are terrified of gaining excessive weight during these days, but I can assure you that the problem will not exist if you follow me in these really simple steps. Ready? Let's start! Tip number one, do not fall into excess. Many times we exaggerate during festive meals, looks like a little devil gets onto our head on our shoulders and asks us to eat everything possible. Two portions of pasta, two portions of lobster, two portions of roast beef. It looks like we were ashore at sea, casted away for months, and then when we were saved, we were thrown on top of a table full of food. But this is not the case. We can easily enjoy every course of the meal without doing any encore or even more, especially, and I have to emphasize especially, with sweets. If you think about taking two portions of something, please at least avoid of doing it with the dessert. Do you know what a slice of panettone or pandoro is like? It's about 400 kilocalories per portion. With two slices, you reached um, half, almost half of the daily calorie requirement and uh, you're mainly taking sugar, so better to avoid it. Tip number two, do not fast in the hour preceding the meals. Sitting at the table when you're already hungry, like the Incredible Hulk, has no advantages at all. Indeed, you will throw your cell phone food with the heat of a runner who's trying to score the new world record. Let's say you'll be the human vacuum cleaner, and it's totally normal if you haven't eaten at all for the whole day, your brain will be in nutrient and energy deficit. So the very moment you see food, you're done. Better to make small snacks during the day. As an example, a yogurt and a piece of fruit, maybe an hour before starting the meal. Maybe you drink a nice cup of tea, because water tends to delay our feeling of hunger. This will help us to be more efficient in the previous tip, and so to not exaggerate. Tip number three, during the meal, prefer the vegetables. If you are, if you there are portion of vegetables on table, sling yourself on those. The vegetables, both cooked or raw, do the high content in, white, in water and dietary fiber, will fill our digestive system faster. And if you are full, you can eat less and, all, and then uh, eat less calories. Furthermore, consuming many vegetables will avoid glycemic peaks possible to the high intake during meals of white bread, white pasta or various sweets and desserts. With vegetables, you will slow down the absorption of carbohydrate and will make your cells happy. And also the pancreas will be uh, happy, which works already a lot during the holidays and which will see reduced at least a little the demand of production of insulin and glucagon. The tip number four, eat healthy before and after festive meals. The problem is not how much you eat on Christmas Day or New Year's Eve. If you limit yourself on those days, you are spot on. But many people tend to start eating excessively from the first day of December this until the New Year's Day. I think it's a little too much, don't you think so? If during normal days you follow your healthy diet, you don't have to worry about it. Think about it for a second. Let's say you don't, uh, you don't do the two snacks I usually recommend, but only the three main meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Every year you make 1,095 meals. If you also eat your snacks, it's about 1,825 meals per year. And if you follow a healthy diet, even exaggerating with food over the festive meals will not make any difference at all. Your body is calibrated to absorb and handle exceptions. 
And Stefano Vendrame, one of my Italian gurus here on YouTube, says in one of his videos, our body is not an empty bag on which we throw things and just tend to fill it up, but it's a much more complex machine capable of extraordinary things. And our digestive system is wonderfully fu functional and efficient. Tip number five, go easy on alcohol drinks. Many people only think about eating, but even drinking plays an awful part. One gram of alcohol contains about an average of seven kilocalories, so more alcoholic is the drink, more calorie ingested. Needless to say that they are also empty calories because they do not bring nutritional benefits to your body. And please do not say to me that it has been proven that wine and beer contain polyphenols and antioxidants. Do they contain these substances? Yes, they do, but not in quantity that brings benefit to you, to your body and to your health. You know, if you want uh, polyphenols and antioxidants, jump on fruit and vegetables. They will satisfy you they will nourish you and your body. And of course, you will not gain weight. Of course, I'm not saying to remove completely alcohol altogether, but to control yourself. Don't exaggerate and drink socially to enjoy your festive days. I mean, drink to celebrate and not do the other way, celebrate to drink. Tip number five, enjoy your festive meals without feeling guilty. As I said on the previous point, if you follow a balanced diet during the rest of the year, you don't have to worry about exception. The festive days are a meeting point of joviality and must be appreciated and enjoyed. If every time you offer something good and you don't accept it, just for fear of gaining extra weight, well, we are not living our life well and with serenity. These meals will not ruin our slimline. Maybe you can gain half a kilo, but we will not be confronted with something that is not irreparable. And even if we have exaggerated, once the festive days are gone and you are following my advice, it will take very little time to go back in shape. Well, it's everything for this video. Uh, before I go, I leave you with a few messages. In the next video, I will deal with some things that are a bit more complicated. Before the end of the year, we'll talk about full allergies with the video that will be released on Boxing Day, December 26th. Uh, the next one will be a discussion on whether nutrition can help or not HIV positive people. And I'd like to have your feedback on this subject and videos um, because I'd love to know what you think about it and if you like me talking about this subject. On December the 22nd, I will also publish a special short video in which I'll talk to you about the project, the project that I have for the channel for the new year and also to leave you my wishes for a great Christmas and a happy new year. Please share this video on the social networks and help me to grow. Not in the sense of hate or age. I'm 41 and at 41 years old, I'm an obit and an obit will be remaining forever. I meant help me to grow the channel and of course thumb up if you like this video and leave me a comment in the proper section below if you have any doubts or questions. If you want, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram pages and also you will find some uh, useful information on my website www.healthmefood.com. So, see you next week and I'm only left to say eat well, live well and smile and see you next time. Ciao!